Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Welcome back to Saturday Social. Joining myself and Joe on the show this week, victorious in the North London yes. derby. Who am I? Theo Baker. Pushed him very hard, Flav. And Cam's as well with a lot. You knew quite a lot of them, to be fair, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Fair I play did. to him. And Absolutely. we're going to stick with the North London derby theme uh, because mm. the game is this weekend. Both teams in great form. Spurs in second, Arsenal in fourth. <laughs> uh, so we thought we'd bring back the Saturday Social whiteboard for a combined 11, Joe. Yeah, everybody knows how this works by now. Each person has an 11 built out. They're going to debate to get their players onto the board. If they can't come to a decision, Cam, you're the yes, you are going to decide in that this circle. You're the referee. You're the yes. referee. I hope Flav hasn't got caught up in like the opening start of the season. Well, he might well have. Let's start with goalkeepers and go from there. Who are you both selecting in goal? Show us to the camera 11. who you're going with. Ramsdale and Vicario. Oh, uh, it's just, what's the point of doing this if he's not going <laughs> to actually like... I am, I am taking it seriously, actually. <laughs> Go on, Flav. Um, I would say that he's... <laughs> you're not even sure if he's your, your first team. He's still keeper. my first choice keeper. Yeah, but is he Arteta's? Well, uh, we'll find out. Well, uh, can <laughs> I... Um, Who do you uh, think starts on a serious note this weekend? I think uh, Ramsdale starts, because Raya yeah. started midweek. What a crazy... Again. He also started against Everton. Yeah, mm. but uh, I feel like Ramsdale's got more heart in it for North London derby. Ooh, what a crazy mm. situation Arteta has put himself in with this team. Two first choice keepers. Oh... It's just very strange, very odd. Okay. Um, Vicario, I'd put in there, right? Good, really good goalkeeper. Uh, second best goalkeeper statistically in the Italian league last year, Serie A. <laughs> first, first best in terms of uh, shots saved in the Premier League. Yeah, second year. best save ratio in the Premier League. Only Allison. Oh, it's Allison, so my yeah. bad. Second then. Uh, that player was 11th statistically as goalkeeper last season, and you're saying he's in terms of shot stopping? Uh, just generally. Who would you start every week in goal for Arsenal? I would still start Ramsdale. Over right. Ray, yeah. Ray, Ray was like statistically yeah, one of the yeah, best keepers yeah. in the league. So yeah, what? I just feel like Ramsdale, maybe I can control his defence more. Just has I, more I'm heart. surprised you chose yeah. Ramsdale because I, I, what, I thought that was what Arteta did in bringing in Raya was actually like a super bold, progressive, and actually confident thing to do. He's brought in a better goalkeeper. I mean, if I'm being even honest, Ramsdale's decent. Both Raya and Ramsdale would start ahead of. Do you not rate But you don't know when no, he's started, I do. started I do, really well for Spurs. Yeah, I, We've I, only I, seen him in a handful of games, which is a fair agree. point, but he has started well. Yeah, but you can't just put a keeper in because Cam? of, like, what, five, six games? How many, how many times has Ramsdale been relegated? Like, Cam. three or four times? What do you think? That is so I would, I would have personally went with David Raya. <laughs> 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 we haven't got the Raya magazine. What are we doing? What are we I, doing? I, I, would have, I would have went with Raya, but um, because Ramsdale lost his position, I'm going to go with Ricardo. There is no <laughs> way. <laughs> yes. Ridiculous. He does not have a dog in the fight. There is no way out of Ramsdale and Raya you can put a Spurs keeper no. in this combined level. That is ridiculous. Right, right back. He's an are you serious? No, no, how is this happening? You said Spurs with a very Sort of strange. Yeah. I heard that tone in your voice. Both book. Ramsdale and Raya are better. Both of them. Yeah. Like, that, there's no the conversation. Next, there's no conversation. Raya, but why didn't you take Raya then? So I like Ramsdale more. Nah, okay, let's go, let's, go, let's go to right back then. Let's go to right back. Um, that is, that is, I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous. Has, that is the craziest crazy thing, thing I have ever so seen. Well, I am up. absolutely stunned I've managed to get him up there. <laughs> <laughs> let's go right back. He, I feel like he will be Italy's number one by the end of the season, by the way. Mm. Ahead, of Donna, Donna, ahead of Donna 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 Absolutely, you wait. This is okay. madness. This right back. I swear, if I were saying stuff like this, I'd, I'd be on the, I'd be crucified. <laughs> Are we going to have disagreement at right back? Right. I, I, you gone I, with? I can't see how we can have a disagreement at right back. But he, that's a centre back. Pen, pe, uh, <laughs> pe, he's, he's a literal right back. Pe, Petro, Pedro Pedro. Oh, was don't surely I, one of the I best right backs in the I league. I can't be able to have a makeshift right back. Over it. There he is. Not even there's actually no question. And he's been quite wide actually. That's all right. Um, There's um, no question. Is, is, was, uh, wasn't Ben White actually sort of taken out of the uh, Arteta's plans as, uh, as a right Porro back? No, no, I'm just asking because you put him up there so quickly. Like he, he, um, he, it was Arsenal fans calling for Ben White to be brought back in. He's right? one of our best oh, players last but, year. But your manager were like, I'm not sure if he features this season. So is he even a starting right back? Played like the last three games. Yeah, but after the He's Arsenal only been fans went like five went games this season. But have I wrong about what I'm saying? He's better than Pedro Porro. Uh, but am I wrong that your, your manager doesn't actually think he's your first choice right back? He does think he's first choice. Does he? Because right. I've, I, that's not what I, I've heard. <laughs> the great ben White's up. Let's go to the centre backs. Okay. Is there any? Surely right. some agreement a centre off. Uh, yeah. well, we've got to say Saliba. Let, let's be honest. Saliba's got yeah. to be there, right? I, mean, he's, I, I, I think he's I one think of the Saliba best centre backs in the league. Absolutely, the best. player. You both got Saliba. I would, yeah. I would say Saliba's the, the best centre back. Where, where do you think? Just quickly, where do you think he ranks in terms of the best centre backs in the league? In the number one. He's number one. Do you think he's the best centre back in the Premier League? 100%. Cam? No, nah, I still got Rub I got Stones, I got Diaz, and then I got Saliba. Okay. Wow. Who's the other centre back you're disagreeing yeah. on there? Well, if you're disagreeing with me on Romero, then you're disagreeing with Lionel Messi. 
I think Romero is so <laughs> overhyped, man. Gabriel was, since the World Cup, he's arguably better than Saliba, especially last season. What, the World Cup that he won? <laughs> I'm talking about Premier League. All right, sorry. No, so what, I, it's carried by Messi. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't... No, don't... Well, well, I don't... I don't... I don't the, the, Messi says... Messi, he gets more red cards than appearances. No, he, he, the, the excuse is not true. Right? And I don't true. see anywhere out there who understands how good Romero is. No, I, would I, I put fully Gabriel agree. In, in, in I fully agree. To be fair, what great. you said, Flav is actually not lying when he says Lionel Messi did mm. describe him as I the mean, best centre-back in the world. slightly, you know... He might have had an agenda, there but he still said it. He still said it. To be fair, Flav, a lot of people don't believe what he says, but that was true. I think Romero is a quality centre-back, but if you actually look at it objectively, Gabriel is better. No one's taking. No one outside of Arsenal is taking Gabriel over. Well, I think, Cam, I think well, are. Do you think Gabriel's better than Romero? Yeah. Yeah, I don't really do. That's madness. On, Cam. I mean, he, he was better than Saliba last season. They're both. They're two top players. What do you I'm think? I'm gonna Cam? go with Romero. Thank you. Uh, just, uh, because you know, look, sorry, this saw, is ridiculous. Saw, it's actually ridiculous. Now it's ridiculous. A Man United fan favouring a Spurs player. Shot. Sorry, winning the World Cup. Good or bad? My reasons. My reasons is I think I do agree that Gabriel was good last season, but once Saliba went down, it's outrageous. When Saliba went down, Arsenal's title race completely went left, and Gabriel wasn't holding down the defence there. He also threw. They blamed holding, but Gabriel's form dropped off massively towards the end of the season. So I think as a standalone defender. I'm going to go Romero. Yeah. All right, left back. What, what I would say as well is, which is a false narrative, people saying he always he always gets cards. He, I think he's the only centre back in the league that's played every minute. That ha- he he has not given away a single foul at centre back this entire season. And for someone that's played every game, is an incredible statistic. If, if, and a, a false narrative that he, he gets booked a lot this season. He hasn't it, been booked it, once. Yeah, if you if you if you last if you, season if you rate <laughs> Gabriel, I'm not saying Gabriel's a bad player, but if you if you rate him above Romero, then you're underrating Tottenham. And I'm, I'm curious to see what you okay. think about. Let's them. move on. Left, uh, left this, back. This, this, um, I can't. What, th- I've just seen it. Left back. <laughs> this is just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Go on. Hey, you, you're putting forward. I'm taking destiny as <laughs> yeah, left back. <laughs> and you're facing <laughs> Zinchenko, right? Well, Zinchenko well, is, is the right answer. Udogi has had a great season, but okay, tell me what he did last season. Well, you bought. Um, he, he he was what? He, uh, or, or Udinese. Uh, uh, he was rated as a, an excellent left wing back. <laughs> what I'm going to ask you about Zinchenko is that you bought someone to replace him. He, if, if Timber wasn't injured, he wouldn't even be in your team. They, they don't get a great season last season. Yeah, he like, did, yeah. Uh, but let's it's Zinchenko! I, I know, Zinchenko is a quality. What, what does that saying. mean? It's Zinchenko. He's better at football than Udogi. You, and he's a better you, left back. You didn't even know he existed before the start of the season. That's my point. T- <laughs> don't tell me. Don't, yeah, but you don't Neither know anything about him. He, he's ceiling is... Let's be real, though. Zinchenko is did transform I can't how allow. Arsenal played football. You must admit Zinchenko, Zinchenko is a top player. I'm not saying he isn't a top player. Yeah. I just can't allow a second-choice player to get in ahead of one of our first-choice. What kind of Spurs player Cam, what, Cam, where are you yeah. coming down the Say it, Cal. Say oh, it. Oh, I can't. Nah, say it. I'm going to go with Zinchenko. <laughs> I'm going to go with Zinchenko. <laughs> oh, got, it's a small sample size for me with... Inverted as well. So, Zinchenko... Come on, Magnet, come on. Flav, you're going to have to recorrect that. I'm not touching that. OK, let's move into the midfielders, then. Is there any agreement in yeah, your midfield three? I actually... Let's have a look at your midfield threes. I, uh, I actually want to change one of the players. But wow, OK. Yeah. What, are you going to change the two Who are midfield two, then? No, I'm going to take out Basuma. Oh, you're mad. You're well, mad. Who, who have you got? So, are we number six? Yeah, are we talking, we're okay, talking so about... OK, so you've both got Basuma. I originally had Basuma in, what? but... What? I actually... Ooh. But I think I'm being too biased towards this season. I would actually prefer to have... But because of the formation I've got, I'd prefer to have Madison. What, sorry, Where's Declan Rice? He's playing here. Where is Declan this is what I'm Rice? Saying. He's playing here, right? No, no, I'm, Where playing, a, I'm playing a double pivot and a cam. A double pivot, right. Hey, so, surely, surely, surely I only Rice. play a single pivot. So. <laughs> Where's Declan Rice? He's coming up next. Oh. Surely he's competing with Basuma for the six. No, I'm playing double pivot. You're playing them both. So what happens? Surely, so here's what's going to happen. Jimmy Declan Rice has to be in this team, surely. Jimmy Shane, the midfield? Not over Basuma, no. So it'd go like, what? I'm playing, well, I'm not playing. I'm playing what? I'm playing a single pivot with two attacking midfielders. And you can only have Declan Rice or Basuma. I'm taking that is, Basuma. Do you want... Well, you're someone who's, who was quite good at West Ham has oh. played four, five games. Quite for... good. Oh. Five quite, games. What a European Quite tra- good. Tra- oh, that Europe. Oh, yeah. Champions, <laughs> Champions of Europe. Was, well, yeah. was Declan Rice better at West Ham than Basuma at Brighton? Ooh. No. Oh, that's crazy, man. Why is it? It's because he won in Europe. When you were talking about what players did Europe. last season, I think Basuma's had an amazing start to the season oh. this year. He has, yeah. Where was he, he last he, year? He will end this season. Along, while, while he's number one for Italy, he'll end the season the best six in the country. What? With oh, Rodri? Rodri, with... Declan Rice? Dec- no, this I didn't crazy. start. That's, didn't cra- start. that's actually crazy. Yeah. Look, yeah, this is crazy. OK, See, this, this, is, sorry. this is how that it is goes. That is the crazy, crazy, crazy There, have you got no, no, Declan Rice there? Um, 
But that's, 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 sorry, you, you had Declan Rice. Oh, you had double pivot. Declan Rice double pivot. Basuma, but you have, you I, I want to change Basuma because I need to fit a player in, and I, I realise. Yeah, but you can't. You can't. Cam, you're the, you're the decider here. Are they allowed Declan well, who, who Rice and Basuma? Who are the other two? I, I personally, both got? I personally would have went with just a four for three single pivot Declan Rice in there. And then I would have got the two creative players. Yeah, that's okay. what I've. Oh, the garden Okay, yes. we can have yeah. that. Let's but move that more central. If you look at the stats, though, so Basuma is outperforming Rice. No. Hand, handedly. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on from the. the, I, I, the I, this is mad, the disrespect that Basuma's getting. He's a good player. No, no, he's had a great season. Brilliant, brilliant start to the season. Brilliant start to the season. He's a baller. I, 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 I generally think that the, the, the fans from other clubs are underrating Tottenham Hotspur and what we can do this season. If The shade that he's getting on this, saying, oh, he's quite good. He's had a good start. The fact that there are six players done so far and two of them are Spurs. Is outrageous. So you're, who you're are your other midfield two? Who are your other um, midfield two? So I want to have Madison. Yeah. And then obviously Erdegaard right there. I'd agree with that. Yeah. Madison, Erdegaard. Yeah, that's what I've got. As well. I, I don't think you can not have Erdegaard. Okay. I, don't think, yeah. I don't think you can not have Madison. Yeah, I agree. Talk yeah. about play like that. Play play front, yeah, but, but, but look at the state of it. What is going on here? Let's put let's put there. To me, to you. To me, to you. I, I would agree with that. Flav, talking yeah. about Madison, what a signing. Best bargain signing of the summer, would you say, yeah. in terms of value for money? Yeah, 40, 40 million pounds of mad madness. And the fact we got 10 million for Winks. He's had a good season at Leicester, but to, it's essentially a 30 million pound signing. How he's ended up at Spurs when we finished eighth. He could have gone ap absolutely mm. anywhere, yeah. but you can see he's absolutely loving life at Spurs. Yeah. And he's mm. a massive part to what this change that Postacoglu has instilled in the club. He's, he's largely down to him. He was made vice captain within a, a, a month of being at the club. Yeah. Second in the last few years, second most goal contributions behind Harry Kane for an Englishman. It's pretty crazy. Amazing. Who's yeah. better? Odegaard Madison better. or Odegaard? Odegaard is better, but Madison is on a high trajectory. Who do you think, Cam? You're the neutral? I think, I think Odegaard's better. Yeah. yeah okay. Odegaard. Right, should we move on to the forward position? So you've got three we might players. Need to see all three here because yeah. there's a bit of confusion <clears throat> about where someone a place, agree, where they play. Where yeah. they're playing. Ooh. Uh, well, you, or you've obviously. <coughs> so, what about if you reveal all three magnets at yeah. the same time? I, is this in the right order? <coughs> Sorry. So you've bad. gone for Son, oh, maybe, maybe it's more Jesus, like and Saka. Oh, you haven't. Okay. okay. You've, you've gone, gone for Son, for... Martinelli, and Saka. I've got Son down through the middle. Uh, Ooh, like... Force nine, yeah. And I've got these two. Saka agreement but, though. I think yeah, we've got to have Saka on surely. Yeah. What a player. Maybe Flav, I'm. These in your team. You're, well. sa well, you're saying Son on the left. Yeah. Because that's his position, really. I know everyone, he's had like one game down the middle, but. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He does I've look good in that. Awesome, what, awesome you, Flav, what are your thoughts on that? Son in that false nine looks, it looks good in that position, doesn't he? Um, it depends who we're playing against. The low block against uh, Sheffield United played, he, 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 it was a challenge for him because it was not, not space to use his pace. Against Burnley, when they tried to play out, he was unbelievable. And like against Arsenal, I'd anticipate. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see where he plays. Do you think yeah. Charleston's going to get back in the team after <clears> little? Not, not yet. Uh, not yet. I mean, it's uh, may, maybe, he's, but he's, he's, he's had f 15 good minutes. Right, let's you know, let, let's get the case. But he is the, the number line. nine, isn't he? Is mm. the plan going forward now? Son through the middle. Is that Tottenham's strategy, or no, does Richarlison come back in? I think right, if, if Richarlison plays the kind of football we saw at Everton, I know he played a lot of it on the left, but he did play a number nine against a particular style of football, a ta tactic that, like the low block, Richarlison is better. So he will play in those games. Mm. At Arsenal, at the weekend, it will be Son, because there's going to be space for us to exploit it mm. because of the way they play. So that's options, really. So you've gone for him through <coughs> the middle, but not, why not Jesus in the nine? Given that Jesus like is an out and out striker, do you not rate Jesus? He's also better up front than Son. No, I do rate. I do rate him. I do. I do rate him. But if they, it, my my thinking was that Son's better through the middle. My thinking was that <laughs> that's got to be the thinking. Because I mean, also, also out, out of the, out of all the Arsenal front three, I think between Saka, Jesus, Martinelli, Martinelli is probably the one you would drop if you had to be really critical. I don't watch Arsenal that much. <laughs> <laughs> Martinelli is also sensational. Think? Think? I think so out of the out, if you had if you really had to choose between Saka, you Jesus, think? and Martinelli, I mean, you've got Trossard though, isn't it? And you got Trossard. I think Trossard is a good player. I think yeah. might even be. Look, I'm, I'm, you're, you're both, I'll, I'll, I'll happily put you're both in agreement with the Suns there. Did you say that? Sorry, can we just pick up on that? That Cam just said he thinks Trossard's better than Martinelli. Yeah. I do. I think they. Cool. I think so it's closer than we think. Yeah. yeah, I just think he's, he's got he's think. got more quality. I think Martinelli's got that runs in behind and can score goals. But I think just the general quality, the first touch, Trust the link up play, interchanging, 
retention. I think Trossard's got all of that. Can play across the front. Very three, versatile three as well. What's yeah, good about yeah. Trossard, I think it's an excellent sign for Arsenal is that he it, it, it can fit into so many positions yeah. if you do have injuries. Yeah. I think it's such a clever sign. Yeah. I, what I would say is, I, wouldn't everyone have Saka and Son in the combined 11? I would have. Yeah. Surely both. You wouldn't have Saka. I would have had Martinelli. I think Martinelli, yeah. Yeah. you know, I know oh, that Son, Son. Son historically has been incredible. Who do you think scored more goals this season? Son has scored more goals than Burkamp. Ergo, he's a better forward. Who do you think has scored more goals this season? Son or Martinelli? I think Martinelli. Who do you think? I think Martinelli scored what? Score 50. It depends oh, where. I think Martinelli it depends where. 14, if they're both playing, the play, yeah, yes. it depends where they're playing. If they're both playing left wing, I think it would be Martinelli. But if Son's through the middle, then there's no question about yeah. it. But Son yeah. on the left, I mean, though, he's been kind of poor on the left hand side. But you have for quite to look at it, now, look at well, you though, can't like, count was outrageous. You can't count last season, Conte. What that Tottenham was is nothing like what it is now. Um, da -da -da. I think with. Uh, can I just say categorically, I do not agree with this. Yeah, I do not disagree with this. I disagree with Can't that. have 12 players on the board. <laughs> Can't have 13 on the board. I think that... It, it, I'm not even being unbiased here. I think that is actually the best side. We can't, yeah. got, we can't have 13 players, players yeah. by the way. So you'd only have two Spurs players in the whole 11. Well, and you'd yeah. have six Spurs players. I'd have six, yeah. No, it, wow. it's two Spurs players. Right, should we, go, should we get on to the managers then? Which is a uh, intriguing debate from both. Well, look, I, can't, I can't go if you've got four players in that. It's just doing my head in. Well, I don't, I don't agree with... Neutral, so I think that's yeah, a good yeah, team. I mean, like, the keeper! No, the yeah, Son one... Uh, and, yeah, the Son one's a little bit for Ram, me, but Ram, Ram, I think that's a good team. Fact, overall, you're happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with okay. that. I'm not, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not happy with it at all. How you're, so you're it's both not, of their 11s and neither of them are happy with it. <laughs> it's just quite interesting. Well, it, but it isn't our 11s, is it? You've made a student. It's a combined 11. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. it's our fault, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, managers, come on, we've got to go to managers. Well, I think there's only one option in there. Look, you can't, he's had five games in the Premier League, but by the absolute love it. You love him and, you're, and he's a Spurs manager. You do like Ange, don't you? Yeah, but I like most Australians. They're all cool. <laughs> <laughs> they are cool. <laughs> but uh, there's no, like, you can't actually, like, jokes aside, it is Arteta. It, it isn't Arteta because I cannot say that it is. Arteta, <laughs> Arteta's more trophies. He's, he's probably the most unlikable manager there is in the league. Ooh. What? He's, he's, like, he's yeah. one of the most likable guys. I really no, I'll put him up there as the what? most dislikable. When he <laughs> is he crazy? Can, he can, he can, can, crazy. Can, I, can I qualify my I like. I, 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 I think Arteta is cool, but I do see why people dislike him, though. Because, yeah. like, you know, his antics on the touchline. Oh, so, Man United fan, I like Spurs him. fan. I like, no, no, I like Arteta. Don't put me in that box. He likes him. He likes him. He's on his own here. I like Arteta. Mikel Arteta is one of the nicest people in football. He cannot answer his question directly. Every single difficult question is like an assault on him. <laughs> He's a man baby. Do you like Klopp? Not a great deal, no. <laughs> um, the other, the, the, what was the question I think about? Arteta comes across brilliant. Maybe. Yeah, Arteta's well, fantastic. Can I, can I just pose this then? He also changed the club. He's transformed the club back into... That's part of the reason why I don't like him. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, can I just, just pose this one thing, on. right? He was asked a question about the, uh, the, the, the goalkeepers. Who's the one, number one, number two? A very simple question. <laughs> and he went, oh, well, what number is Fabio Vieira? It has nothing to do with the question. <laughs> Even the interviewer went, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Was that you, the interviewer? Yeah. You heard that. <laughs> uh, right, we need a decision. Cams, you're the referee. What are you going with? Oh. One at Spurs. I mean, but Ant has more trophies than at, at, at Spurs. Sure. He's but, been there five uh, games. I'm well, exactly. How can you? My point exactly. How can you put a manager games. after five games? Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to go with Mikel Arteta. Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, Some um, um, well, has he ever done it in Japan? <laughs> okay, there there is mean, confirmation yeah. of Flav and Theo's combined level, which they are both ecstatic with. They're both happy with. They're going to be putting on their Instagram uh, and other social media accounts. There we go. Uh, we've met Arteta. Nice guy, isn't he? Lovely. There we go. 